Yeah, right now. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hi, I'm Annette Peterson. I'm with the University of Copenhagen where I'm an e-learning consultant. So I'm basically helping teachers integrate IT and new media into their teaching. Um, and I want to say something about motivation. Because um, no matter how smart what you are teaching is and how much knowledge you have about it, if your students are not motivated to learn, then you might as well go in the bathroom and talk to the mirror. And you'd have a better listener. <laughs> so I think it's really important to think about how you motivate people. And I think one of the most important things you can work with is providing feedback for people. If you get feedback, you're happy to keep doing something. Even if the feedback is you're not doing so well, you might improve. And the shorter intervals you can get feedback with, the, the easier it is to actually improve and learn something. If you only get a grade at the end of the semester, it's not very easy to actually do it better. Whereas if you get feedback every week, who knows, then you have a chance of, of changing how you try to learn it if it's not working for you. Um, and when I say feedback, I don't mean uh, grades or assessment necessarily, but some kind of feedback. Um, and it might not come from the teacher. Actually, the other students are pretty often very good at saying the same things and saying it in a way so that students will actually listen to it more than when the teacher says it.